Hey guys, it is Jessica Nelson, and I wanted to address a topic, kind of a question that I get asked a lot, and that is, you know, exactly how do you build a business as a coach? So um, I actually started out not intending to build a business. I didn't know anything about the business, uh, which is really unlike me when I got started. But what I what I wanted was just to feel better. I needed energy. I was drained and. Uh, life had just gotten the best of me. So I simply started as a coach to get a discount on Shakeology uh, once, you know, someone really just recommended it highly. So I figured if I'm going to try it, I'm just going to get it as cheap as possible. That's why I became a coach initially. But um, as time went on, as I started feeling amazing and what happens naturally when you love something, you know, like if you go to a movie and it's like the best movie you've ever seen, or if you go, you know, eat at a restaurant and you love it, you eat, you talk about it. So I was doing that. And then I was like, wait a minute, if I can earn some money doing this, this is way cooler than my job and a lot more fun and a lot more impactful because you know, when you start to feel better, life is better. So that's when I started um, kind of digging more into the business side of things. So as a coach, there are several ways to work your business. Um, but what I do is primarily all on social media. Um, it involves, you know, inviting people to what we call a challenge group. It is an online private fitness and accountability group where people can come, you know, you kind of play matchmaker. You match them up with a fitness program, you get them their Shakeology, and, uh, you know, you match them up based on whatever goals they have that they want to achieve in their life at that moment. And then they get to join your group. And in the group, you're their coach. You're responsible for answering any questions, for keeping them encouraged for uh, celebrating successes and helping them through the hard days. And because we all have them, right? And I'm telling you, one of the biggest benefits of becoming a coach is the built-in accountability for yourself. You know, you aren't required to be an expert or a nutritionist or a trainer. You know, instead, you're a normal person on the journey, but I will tell you when other people are looking to you, for consistency and for the encouragement, you're gonna show up a lot more uh, than if you're trying to just do it solo. That is one of the biggest uh, reasons that I attribute to the shape I'm in. And um, it's one of the biggest joys of being a coach. So your primary job is simply to invite people to join you on their journey. You know, and as you use the products, as you get this amazing transformation, you're going to organically grow because you're gonna be authentically sharing your journey, your experience, and your results, and other people are gonna to want to join you. Uh, I also have created, you know, an entire team. We are called Dare to Dream, and we are on a mission to literally um, grow each and every day, become better than we were yesterday, but, you know, we work together. So we have trainings, we have team calls, we have video Zoom chats, we share ideas to help each other help more people because that's the goal and you only grow a business. Um, it, it will grow directly in proportion to how many people you help. So it's all about just getting people matched up with the program to get them the results they want and to continue on the journey to a better them because that's what's going to change your world. It's going to change your relationships. It's going to change your family life and that's what's going to make the difference. One reason why I'm a huge advocate of actually starting out as a coach right away, you know, obviously, like I said, I did because I was just like, if I'm going to save money, I'm going to do it. But also starting out as a coach right away is in my opinion better because it's like the full body experience because we, as coaches, we don't just focus on the outside or the scale or getting results or getting, you know, the inches or the pounds to drop, but we also focus on getting fit on the inside. We read books that help us grow and expand our mindset and realize that we're capable of so much more than we may realize. And that was the biggest game changer for me was when I started just being open to the possibility of more. It was amazing what I was attracting into my life. So that's why I love coaching. You're going to be surrounded by thousands of positive, motivated people that are going to literally spur you on to action and spur you on to being the best you. So if you've ever considered it, you know, there's no pressure, there's no quotas, but it's about, you know, if you want to succeed, it's about showing up. It's about doing the workout, reading your Shakeology, uh, drinking your Shakeology, <laughs> reading your personal development books, and um, just sharing, sharing who you are, what's happening in your life, and the right people will come along 
And if you do this consistently over time, you're going to be amazed at what comes of it. I know I have been, I'm so blessed and thankful that I decided to take the leap, that I show up on the tough days when I might not feel like it and I might not want to. But like I said, when my challengers are there watching me, when my coaches are there, when I know I have the support, and I know everybody struggles, but it's about overcoming those struggles that makes us great. So if you've ever considered joining my team, if you have any more questions, just shoot me a message, jessica at jessicabowsernelson.com, and I'm happy to answer anything and everything you might have. And like I said, the second you join our team, you have access to our complete social media training and anything you might need to help you succeed long-term in this business. But the rest is up to you. So make it happen, dream big, don't sell yourself short because you are capable of amazing things.